Well, following some breaking news this noon, the Minnesota Vikings have pulled an about face now and suspended running back Adrian Peterson from all team activities after he was accused of child abuse. And they announced just moments ago during a press conference that the team will, that Peterson will remain off the field until his legal matters are resolved. Marcy Gonzalez explains the NFL's changing approach to the mounting pressure from cases like those against both Peterson and Ray Rice. More drama in the NFL. After a day of public pressure from fans and sponsors, the Minnesota Vikings reversing course, pulling embattled star Adrian Peterson off the field, banning him from all team activities as he faces a child abuse charge, accused of hitting his four year old son with a tree branch. The decision to put Peterson on the NFL's exempt list coming just one day after the team announced it would reinstate the former MVP. In a statement, the Vikings owners write, after further reflection, we have concluded that this resolution is best for the Vikings and for Adrian, who they said emphasized his desire to avoid further distraction to his teammates and coaches while focusing on his current situation. Meanwhile, former Baltimore Ravens star Ray Rice is fighting for his own second chance in the league. The NFL Players Union now appealing NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell's decision to indefinitely suspend Rice in response to the caught on camera beating of Rice's now wife, Janae. Before video of the assault was released publicly, the league only suspended him for two games. The union saying it's their duty to protect the due process rights of all NFL players. We believe that Ray Rice has been punished twice for the same offense and that the NFL had all the evidence available to them during their decision to punish Ray for two games initially. And because of that, the Players Association requested that the appeal be heard by someone other than Goodell. The NFL confirming to us today the commissioner will not be involved. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, New York.